Welcome to another SBL DIY. My name is Kirsten and today we're going to be doing a virtual to go kit which you can call the library for if you don't already have yours. We're going to do dazzling sun catchers. You will need some gems, glue, clear glue, scissors, and a piece of ribbon a lid uh, make sure it's a circular lid unless you want to get fancy you can do another kind and a paper clip you can also substitute this for a needle if you like so very easy it's kind of a craft where you hurry up and wait <laughs> because you'll do all of the steps pretty quickly but you're going to have to wait a few days for the craft to actually dry and see your product so first we're going to do first thing we're going to do is fill this lid with glue you shouldn't need the whole um, glue bottle but you want to make sure it's evenly coated because you're going to put your uh, gem design inside. So there's no particular way you want to put this glue in other than just make sure it's covered. The lid, inside the lid is covered. Don't uh, overfill it. It shouldn't be to the brim of the lid. Just make sure the inside surface is filled. Should only need maybe a half bottle. So what you can do is before you start, you if you want a particular pattern, you might want to arrange it before you put it in here. Um, in order for your sun catcher to to come out the best, you want all of these gems to be touching each other. So if you have one just like out there in space, it's not probably going to come out too well. So I don't really have any particular design I want to do. I'm going to just put, put all of them in here. And I just want to cover the entire... Um, inside surface here so I'm going to start on the outside um, making sure all of the gems are touching and you'll see as you're putting them in that the glue kind of starts uh, the it, it rises a little bit over the gems that's one of the reasons why you don't want to put too much glue in because what will happen is it'll end up um, it'll end up spilling and you don't want to do that And again, if you want to do your own little design, I don't personally care whether mine um, has a particular color pattern. It tends to come out pretty nicely um, either way. You'll also have some uh, different shapes of gems in your virtual to-go kit. So you'll have the choice of whether you want to use um, all, all uh, of these circular gems or you want to put in a heart or diamond, whatever you have in your kit. So you're starting to spill a little bit. So if you don't like your hands uh, covered in glue might want to use gloves but I'm okay with it 
So now what I'm going to do is cover the, the gems in glue and just be careful not to let it spill. Now one thing I should have said before is that basically wherever you want this to dry, wherever you want it to sit it to dry if you can, do the project there, then you don't have to worry about the glue spilling um, all over the place. And try your best to cover the gems. It can be difficult. See, I'm already spilling it. Um, it can be kind of difficult to see whether uh, the gem is covered because the glue is clear and some of the gems are clear. But just do the best you can. And the glue will redistribute itself as well. Okay, I think mine are mostly covered. Uh, this is the part where I say you hurry up and wait because this will need about three to four days to dry. Um, if you are lucky enough to be doing this project and there are a lot of hot days, put it outside. Um, also, uh, you could just put it, do the project on a plate, move the plate where you, wherever you want to. So I'm going to move this out of the way because it gets really messy. And this is what your finished product would look like. Um, how you know that your, your sun catcher is ready to be taken out of the lid you really want to make sure because you don't want to separate your your gems what you'll see is that the sun catcher starts peeling away from the lid so that's how you know even with this one I kind of did it a little bit too fast and you'll see part of the glue is uh, up here but anyway you should have something that looks like this that you can hang uh, so I can catch the sun rays. Uh, the last part of this is putting your string, your ribbon through the through the sun catcher. I would say find a place in your sun catcher, and you don't have to do this part either if you just want to sit it in a windowsill. Find a place along the edge that has a good opening and let me see I'm gonna do it here and I'll take my paper clip and push it through to make a hole doesn't need to be a really big hole but big enough that you can push a ribbon through so you want to be careful because you don't want to tear your ribbon too much I practiced with this already so I did tear it a little bit but um, you can always trim it trim that part off so you see I'm pushing it the paper clip through a little bit and I'm gonna um, slowly take it out so I can just pull through pull the ribbon through once I have it through you'll see it's a little loop so only just pull one side of the loop. You can hold down one end of the ribbon and then pull the other part through. I did tear it a little bit, so I'm gonna put that part through the hole so you can't really see it. And you can see these are kind of, uh, one side's too long. Uh, one trick you should know is that when you're cutting, Try to cut with uh, scissors that are sharp when you're cutting ribbon because it'll fray pretty easily. And then I like to cut on a diagonal, which cuts down the um, fraying too. So let's see how this works. And you shouldn't hesitate like I just did. 
because sometimes it makes it harder as well to cut okay that ended up pretty good um, let's see I'm gonna cut this one down a little bit okay and then just tie it you can hang it wherever you want maybe you want to nail it somewhere and hang it up and that's what you got you got a little dazzling sun catcher more dazzling when you're actually in the sunlight but it's a really fun project it doesn't take too long it's mostly just waiting anyway thanks for joining me for our dazzling sun catcher DIY and check out our other virtual to-go kits thanks bye